right, it's the big one. We've reached Rio Veins, the uh, the eternal obstacle in FF Tactics, the hardest part for any casual playthrough, and uh, it's not going to be easy here. So I think we go in, we're going to start with our normal setup, our normal gear, and the first level is pretty normal. I think sometimes I like take Rafa's gear because she's going to leave anyway, but it's just, it's not that good. Um, like, for instance, if we compare this, like, we already have a better rod. We don't need the money. White robes we don't have yet. White robes are maybe good. Maybe we'll take the white robe. We don't need the elf mantle. Would we use the white robe? Well, we can't equip it there. We don't want it here because the minus two magic. But is magic actually that important on our oracle? It affects our pure strength. Kind of important. More HP would be nice. Maybe we'll put it here. All right. Ah, uh, but holy, I want to be hitting with holies now. Yeah. So like, all right, we'll give her something cheaper. Um, but like, yeah. Um, the other reason to uh, take her gear is when she leaves the next fight. Um, Malik leaves it too, and so sometimes I just put her low on HP, so they'll take her out instantly and take out Malik. But like. Maybe she'll do some damage before she goes down. I don't think that's actually a good strategy. So this fight has a huge height differential. And what I like to do is congregate all my units in the bottom left corner of the map. And my point is, uh, all right, let's do the scene. Welcome. How do you like our capital? Uh, Barrington is, of course, a potential third suitor to, as we were expl had explained to us earlier, a third suitor to the Regency after Larg and Voltana. It looks a little Spartan compared to Lasalia Castle, but I like it. This castle's built for war. It's far more beautiful than one built for government. Ivalis has always been ruined, uh, ruled by men with power. Also ruined, but ruled was the written word. This war proved the royal family lost the power. Get to the point. You're being impatient. To be quite frank, can we work together? What do you mean? As I said, men with power rule their ballas. So who has the power? Prince Larg of Hokuten or Prince Goltana of Nantin? Neither of them. It's you, Shrine Knights, who hold the stone. Hormav clearly doesn't know he knows about the stones. Holy stones have great magical power. According to ancient legend, a natural disaster in Moran was caused by its power. Ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. Well, excuse me. Oh, um, I should leave a save outside. One sec. Make sure we have a save here, because this is a good level to have a save both inside and outside. I don't want to just rely on save states if we need to reset. Sorry about that. We will uh, skip fast through the scene to get there. That's, of course, not a reset of the battle because we didn't start the battle. We got there well before the battle. Oh, but I should have actually checked my gear after that in case I changed anything, which I probably did. Yeah, because that was before I moved the white robe um, and switched to a power sleeve or whatever. Uh, but we didn't actually change anything else. We just... All right. And we'll save again. Sorry about that. Uh, should probably start over the video, but, you know. We're here, we're here, we've done some talking. I may have said something interesting, on the off chance I had. This way, we record it for posterity. Surely something happened in the past four minutes. So we'll uh, fast forward a bit to get to where we were. Hopefully I won't skip past it. Poor Mav is being impatient, but you know. Holy stones have great magical power. According to ancient legend, a natural disaster in Moran was caused by its power. Well, excuse me. I didn't expect a grand duke like yourself believed in such fairy tale. So you're saying you don't believe it? That's strange. They say Draklau of Leonel died from problems with the stones. I heard he died of illness. Then why are you after the youngest Bolve? Why chase him as a heretic? 
We don't question decisions by heresy examiners. Oh my, you're saying you know nothing about it. But you may change your mind after seeing this. Call Malik. Look, Father, I'm sorry. I see. We have Scorpio and Taurus. Because Islude got Scorpio and Taurus when he grabbed Alma, right? Those were the two we had. Moron. Excuse me, sir. We verified the intruder's identity. Malik, I'll let you take care of him. What do you want? As I said before, we want to help you, too. What if I refuse? The church's injustice will be exposed, that's all. You can't prove it with just the holy stones. Exactly. But how about with the Germanic scriptures? Large Sultana and the Senate ought to be interested. Where is it? Hormav's very to the point. I can't tell you. Wegraf, go after the wizard. I'll take care of here. Don't do anything funny. The odds are against you. Odds? What do you think you weak humans can do? Father? Don't underestimate us. Killing you is easy. Are you opposing me? Who are you betting on here? Want to fight? Fine. I'll show you the power of the Holy Stone. Looks like Barrington got out of there, but I don't think those knights are going to make it. And I don't think Islude really understands what's happening. Alright, so our first fight of the Rio Vein sequence. It's going to be a tough one. Uh... I guess no adjustments to make. Let's run with our core party. We will have adjustments to make before the second battle, but not the first. Um, in general, our goal is going to be to run to the bottom right corner of the map. And my reason for that is the enemy starts so high up that This is probably, like, you probably could just go to them, but they're going to, like, pepper you with archery and stuff. And if they have to come to you, they sort of come one or two at a time. They don't get to use their height advantage. They can't quite reach far enough to hit you in that far corner. And I, I think the fight just goes cleaner. That's how I tend to fight it. But uh, I'm sure other strategies work, but I like to do that here. And I think that works with most team compositions pretty well. Malik, please stop. Let's go together. You know what happens to traitors. You'll be chased by your ex-allies and killed. Even if you escape, you'll live your life frightened. I'd never want to live like that. But Grand Duke promised to free us after this job. You believe him? You know he's lying. If we don't escape now, we'll be his slaves for life. I trust him. We'll be free if we kill him and take the Germanic scriptures. I'm probably just going to skip over the dialogue of the later scenes with Rafa and Malik. I really don't like it, and I really don't want to be invested in it or reading it. Um, but we're not there yet. You know, we play these games for fun. We should, uh, you know, understand the parts we don't like, we think are bad, but also not, you know, make ourselves too bothered by it if we can ignore it. That's fine. I mean, you gotta you gotta know like where the problems are, but uh, sneakily hidden knight down there. There's a knight hidden in that gap with float, not hit by ground moves. Uh, so we're gonna start dancing. We always do. Ooh, I forgot. Actually, we should be switching to knight. Ooh, I screwed up. It won't matter here, but I did screw up big time. Where's Alma? 
I can see you're worried about her. Just hand me the Germanic scriptures and I'll save you. Chikuchi, don't believe him. Barrington will kill both of you once he gets what he wants. Whatever you do, don't give the scriptures to him. Your sister will be safe only as long as you have the book. All right, let's start moving away to our desired corner. And Rams is already just higher level than everyone, so we're not going to try to do anything fancy here. Um, we will have our resident mage do the healing. I guess that's not a full heal, but a full heal isn't actually needed. And again, when Malik, uh, when Rafa takes enough damage that she's uh, knocked out, uh, both she and Malik will leave the fight. So, you know, leaving her to her own devices and letting her go down here uh, also takes out an enemy unit. There are three knights and three archers plus Malik, so there's six units. Ooh, that was well placed. That actually is mostly going to hit. Using um, boundaries is the correct way to play Rafa's abilities well when she permanently joins the party, which will be a part of the game we won't be doing because, of course, we have our three characters. But she actually used her ability properly. Ooh. Well, it started well. Ooh, that finished okay all as well. That was quite a good... Uh... This is going well, too. Yeah, three hits is pretty good. And she actually, like, deserved to have three hits. She actually placed it right. Oh, there she goes. All right. Wrap it down. What you're saying is right. No use escaping. Let bygones be bygones. What are you? Yeah, we're going to ignore Rafa and Malik. Whatever. Wait, Rafa, what are you doing? He leaves too. Okay, whatever. Um... Go here, stand between the knight and a target that doesn't have draw out. Eh, we'll just wait. Or doesn't have a blade grasp. And here, what would be fun to do to this this knight over here? Hundred percent to hit? Sure. I can live with that. We'll regain some MP. We're now almost regaining every time we move as much MP as it costs to throw out a move like Light Drain. Maybe I should be throwing out holy. Um we regain MP pretty quick, and that's actually a move powerful enough to kill things. Because we have upped our total MP count, its damage will be lower than if we were in a pure magic build. Oh, but did we actually switch the white robe on this? Now I forget. Oh well, doesn't matter. We can adjust after this fight. Uh, we can't adjust one of my mistakes, though, because I wanted to switch our dancer over into um, Knight for the higher HP total, so she'd be a bit tankier. But we don't have my equipment to put on her, um, so we have to wait for the next shock, which means, because the chapter ends here, we uh, we can't actually reset that until we get a reset. So I'm not allowed to start a battle at the start, even if we're like in no trouble whatsoever, right? And I think it would be okay to allow that, but we haven't allowed it so far, so we're not going to allow it now. Um, let's show off Ramses' healing. With Murathing, right? Its area of effect only hits our units, much like his other mage stuff, and it heals a really nice amount. Which is very nice. Uh, mage Murai has it all. It has healing, it has power, it has some other things too that we'll get to later. Should we try Holy? That seems like overkill. Alright, um, but you know what? Why not? This is our unit that gets the least experience, so we may as well grab some here. Hopefully the archer starts, starts shooting the other archers. Sweet. Good job. Yeah, and you even hit. Well done. Uh, let's get our dancer to the corner and keep up the nameless dance. Would have been goofy to stop it and then have both stops wear off. I'd be like, well, we have two enemies stopped, but you know, it's not a lasting effect. Or confusion. Not bad, not bad at all. And you can see, because the archers can't reach us, they kind of have to rush forward and into positions where they lose their height advantage. 
Huli is, I believe, the single most powerful spell in the game with a multiplier of 50, but maybe Cyclops or some summons is higher. Um, Zodiac, for instance, but that's a optional in the common main game. Or like the, the you know, normal campaign if you don't do side quests. 8% to hit. What does that guy have? Hopefully we stop him, because then the arrow actually will hit. But uh, he must have, like, a mantle or something. Ah, uh, slow won't do it. Close. What do you got, buddy? Really? This is enough to get you that good dodge? It's 8%. This is 34%. I don't get it. I thought I saw 8%. Maybe I misread it. Uh, let's move to get um, MP back. And then just wait and holy the next person that comes close. Seems like a good way to take them out. Holy is a very good nuke spell. And going to be useful on the boss. 8% again. I wonder why it's quite that low. That does not make sense to me. Alright, let's keep dancing. This looks like a target for Holy. You know, looks like he's well equipped to not be hurt too much by physical stuff. Can't believe two eight percents. Very weird. Like he doesn't have blade grasp, he doesn't have like a mantle. Eh, won't get the kill. That's a shame. Alright, well we get some MP back. Given that we can move a couple tiles every time, we're going to be able to get off three holies pretty comfortably. Which is pretty great. Like, this will be our second holy, but it'll only take a couple more movements before we have our third ready to go. And these confused archer shooting people is also pleasant. Alright, so an easy first battle for Rio Veins, but this should not this should not make us think Rio Veins is easy. Silence on a knight, super useful. Great job. Uh can we do something funny here? Oh, I wish it could hit the other guy. All right, we can move one step forward. We haven't actually had Meteor work yet. Oh, uh, no, he's going to move out of the way. Maybe? Let's check. Ah, uh, he's going to move before Meteor. Stupid Ralph. Um, is there some way we could delay him? Probably not. All right, he's going to get to move. Well, we can move two, and is there anything fun we can do? Let's get a little more MP. We can draw some MP from our dancer who doesn't need it, and he should only be able to reach Ramza, who still has blade grasp. So the fact that he's charging um, does not affect blade grasp. All right, let's see Meteor. We we know this from FF7, right? Some Sephiroth energy here. Ooh, and the guy didn't move far enough to get out of it. Sweet. And by staying in the corner, I think we're still far enough in the corner that the enemies will have to come down to our height to gain that miss. We can always tell from when they stand still. And maybe that guy will do all the damage for us. Uh, it's probably going to move out of the way. All right, we should stop dancing before we level up our dancer too high. But nice work hitting your teammate. Uh, go back to our corner. Uh, 
of the tax center. Always good to leave a spot next to your dancer so they can get out of dancing if needed. Let's get re-raise on ourselves. He gets us farther from the next holy, but I, I think we there's a good chance we get our MP back from the knight next to us for a survive loop. Ah, uh, Trader Joe's. Okay. And are you going to finish off the other archer? Ah, uh, not quite. What can Tabitha do? Stuck with this monster who's just attacking her. Ah, Crystal Helmet. That's some way. If we get enough drops, maybe we could switch into Knight. Think about it. If we, uh, you know, if all these Knights drop equipment for a Knight and it's all a different slot, then we could uh, switch our Dancer over to a Knight and possibly get an HP upgrade out of it. So we got a Helmet. Um, now we just need armor. And a shield would be nice, but not mandatory. Yeah, so we just need armor. Armor would be great. And let's move for the MP. One more move and we're back in holy range. So when this guy comes closer, we can hit him with a nice holy. Nothing Tabitha can do. She's just going to get attacked by Ramuda. Poor Tabitha. Of course she'll attack him. Shame. I wanted her to attack her other teammate. I don't think the knight can reach us, so we're going to wait one more turn getting out of the way, and then we'll holy him next turn. And yeah. Great, great job. Move one. Oh, he's low on life. I didn't realize. So we could probably like life drain finish him. Confuse is pretty good. Confuse is a good status effect. Get out of the way. Because we want our oracle, I think, to get an experience here. Let's life drain. 68% gets kill. I'll take it. We've done very badly with the Oracle getting finishing blows, though. Ah, finally, it comes good. Let's try a wildly long teleport. Hey, it worked. That's fun. All right, Earth Clothes, I don't think a knight can equip. So that's not the night gear we were looking for. White robe, not the night gear we were looking for either. Hey, blade grasp didn't work. I mean, obviously blade grasp does a large percentage of the time, but you know, still, I was, I was not expecting that to hit. I didn't quite get out of range. Could be a KO here. Uh, can we sneak in a heal first? No, we cannot. But I bet this doesn't hit. So we'll throw out this heal and we'll keep moving forward. 70%, it doesn't hit. If it does, we'll have to. Go okay, well, we're going to have to go back and revive him. Uh, that's a full heal for them. All right, this is going to be a little clumsy to end the fight, but that's okay. Because they will get to that crystal. I don't really want to throw up more nameless dances. Rams is about to get a whole bunch of experience. So I, I think I would like, if possible, to have... Well, let's heal, I suppose. And let's get Ramza close to the archer. Um, if he's up at their height, it's actually harder for them to reach him. Uh, obviously, he could back away, but I want, in case anything goes wrong, him to have a quick kill in case, you know. So 
something goes wrong, we need to end the battle. Oh, a confused enemy maybe doesn't doesn't grab crystals. Blade grasp? No. Sorry about that. Um, huh. All right. Maybe I got a message. Maybe not. Might be pausing this recording in a sec. But in the meantime, I guess we'll just have Ramza finish it off. Let's end this quick. And I'm going to go figure out what's happening. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, I think we're back. Uh, let's move on to the second fight. So this is the huge one. This is the famous fight in the game. Ramza has a one-on-one -on -one against Wheatcraft. Now, Ramza has two equipments that greatly reduce the threat of Wheatcraft. A help from a monster. And these are very important two bits of equipment. Now, there are a bunch of strategies here. We'll talk about a bunch of them in case you have a different party. Rafa, Alma, please be safe. One is, if you have Chemist, you have Auto Potion. If you have Auto Potion and you get rid of all High Potions and you have a bunch of X Potions in your inventory, that's great. That High Potion you just won, you have to chuck it. Because WeGraph will often do 150-ish per hit, and you basically, you need to be able to heal that. Um, another thing that can, depending on how you line it up, but if, you know, say you have 180 life and he's doing 150 a hit, a monk with HP restore, or the ability HP restore from monks, is when you go into critical, you get a free restore brave percentage of the time. Monks also have access to some healing, so if you get hit, sometimes they'll get the full heal, and that can work. Um, another really commonly used strategy that's quite effective is squires have yell. And squire, that means yell is a move where you go and you increase your speed for the rest of the battle. So say you have like seven or eight speed, and we graph is like nine speed. You run, you just start running away, trying to kite him on the map, staying away from him, just using yell over and over and over. And eventually you'll get to the point where you're getting many turns for his one. At this point, you can start accumulating. Accumulate is a move that ups your physical power. And if you, you know, have a, say, 12 power weapon or whatever, and you up your physical power from its starting point of, say, 7 to, let's say, 25, then your attack will do 12 times 25, which is 300 damage. And if you adjust for the fact that you have good Zodiac with him, it's going to do whatever, um, a quarter more than that, so like 375 damage. So Ramza, there's the Squire Yell strategy if you have access to Squire. We don't. There's the Chemist Auto Potion strategy. We don't have that either. There's the Monk HP Restore strategy. We don't have that either. Um, one other thing to note is getting past WeGraph, you do not have to kill him. You can just get him to low health, but it is much better to kill him for reasons we'll see shortly. Let's get to the scene. Brother. What? She might hear whistling. I don't have the sound on, so I'm not entirely sure. That's not whistling. <laughs> what an awful wound. Ugh, help that monster. C come on. R run. It's dangerous. Bad news. Yeah, I think Vormav won his battle with the knights. So. So. Um. We're going to save state here so we can get back to this point easily. So we want to do two things. WeGraph's main threat is he has Holy Sword. This is his biggest threat. And so we are going to equip the Chameleon Robe again. This is our anti-WeGraph tech, right? 
chameleon robe says he will not use any of his holy skills, his holy sword skills. Does that remove his range and leave him to just hitting you with his sword? No, because he also has punch arts. And the important punch art he always knows is Earth Slash. So we are going to wear feather boots so he cannot Earth Slash us. Now, most classes can do this. These are gear wearable by almost any class. If you look at Chameleon Robe, the only classes that can't wear it are Squire, which is the Yell strategy, Chemist, which is the Auto Potion strategy, Monk, which is the HP Restore strategy. So the only classes that we would not have access to this, and if you look at Feather Boots, everyone can equip Feather Boots. The only classes that don't have access to this, that don't have another useful tool here, are Archer, Thief, Ninja, Bard. Ramza cannot be a dancer. So Archer, Thief, Ninja, Bard. But that means the only way we have kind of no tools here is if Ramza is a combo of those four classes. So if Ramza is like a ninja bard, or a ninja thief, or a ninja archer, or an archer thief, something like that. Now, most of those combos are really unlikely unless you did really badly in the draft, but it is a reason to be a little cautious about ninja. Ninja is not very useful here. That said, I think our gear now is pretty good. Um, 166 HP, I think, should be enough to take a normal hit from him. We have access to healing because we have draw out. I think this is pretty uh, reasonable at this point. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're ready to try with that equipment in mind. We want to get a full kill on Wheatgrass. So we're going to have to manipulate some things or be careful about certain things just to make sure we get that. Um, and we're going to, I think, want only Ramza far forward at the start. And our other units a little further back. Um, but this is, this is a really hard mission. It's easy to get a bunch of resets here. It's easy to get like a million resets here. We easily could get a million resets here. Um, I think the Wee Graph part is manageable. And the other part is going to be the bigger problem. Let's actually look at some numbers quickly. Not numbers relevant, super relevant to this battle, but we should figure out how much damage we're doing to Wegraf. So Kutetsu has 12 base power, and um, the other one we have is 14. So we have 12 and 14 base power. So we're going to check our status when we get into the fight, but we should figure out what is our base damage to him. And we should also, what is the Zodiac Multipliers? Um, one moment. We, it gives us, Zodiac gives us good compatibility. Um, uh, let's Google one sec. Zodiac math, FFT. So he's a Virgo. We graph is a Virgo, which means we have good compatibility. And so what we want to know is let's go to game facts zodiac compatibility guide um we want to know what the multiplier is there i should know off the top of my head but i don't um boss zodiacs by chapter yeah we graph is virgo like most bosses in the game and we know we have good compatibility what is the multiplier i don't care about good i just want the math doesn't have the math, you're useless to me. All right, well, there is one guide on game facts that always comes through on this game, and that is the battle mechanics guide. All the info you could ever want is somewhere in here. And we want to know Zodiac. Not signs of the Zodiac. We want to know, okay. Good compatibility gives a one-fourth boost. Okay, so 125%. So if, yeah, which is not effect evasion. Okay, so, uh, all right, let's do the scene. What's this? 
And note, we're also super low level, right? One thing you can do here is you can level up to 35 to get a speed point. That's a really viable strategy here if this is trouble. There you are, Shikuchi. Highly recommend doing that. Draw your sword, Shikuchi. What's wrong? If you don't, I will. How miserable you are. Giving your spirit to Lukavi just to avenge yourself. If Maluda knew about this, she'd be very disappointed. Revenge? Ha, huh, that's not what I'm after. I want far more than that. I don't give a damn about Maluda's murder. I want to bring chaos into the world, to hear the screams of humans. But don't worry, Shikuchi. I'll kill you myself. We graph fully corrupted by the memes, right? And if you don't know what I mean by that, watch the previous episode. Alright, you'll notice we have float, so he's going to run forward, and he's going to use, um, he does have wave fist still, he has some range, but we, oh, maybe we shouldn't have had float, hmm, we could have used that slot, okay, let's, um, because if he can hit us anyway, like, wave fist actually does more damage, so, but we can survive two hits and then heal, we get a full heal with Murasang, so we have 11 power. So 11 times 12 is 132, and 11 times 14 is 154. So our moves do 132 or 154 damage. If we want to kill him, we're going to do three 132s. If we did two 154s, that would put him into critical, and you get a free turn on the next level. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I didn't do the multiplier. Um, five fourths. Uh, so 154 is divided into fourths as 26 is a fourth. No, sorry. What am I doing? Uh, a fourth is a 38 to 9. Yeah, 38 or 9. So that should, it should do, instead of 156, it should do 194. That two shots. Let's make sure of the math. Um, we're doing 14 times 11. 14 times 11 is 154. What if the boost is at the 14 part? So 5 fourths of 14, remember it always ran, rounds down, would be 17. 17 times 11 is 181. Yeah, it's definitely going to two shot him whichever way they do the math. So we want to do our stronger one, and we want to hit him twice with it. But first, I'm going to dodge a bit away, and I'm going to heal just to be a little cautious, not to risk going in when we're not at full health. All right. So let's go here. Oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't do a risky teleport right now. Um, okay, haste goes off before anything he can do. So actually, let's get haste up. That's useful. That's something useful we can do. Now he's going to hit us here. And then we'll run away and heal again. All right, he really likes going for wave fists, which is a little annoying because it puts us out of range. And I would love to be able to res Ooh. All right, so we're going to go here. That's a safe move. And we're going to use Heaven's Clouds. We also do not want to kill him at a moment when he's in the water. That slightly glitches a later thing, or while we're in the water. We want we want the kill to not be in the water. It did 182. My math said 181 or 184. Good to know the math is basically on point. Now we gotta trick him to come out of the water. Wow. Did we just dodge two 95 percenters? That's fantastic. The stones are evil, and so are the Zodiac Braves. The legends we believed in were all lies. Yaha, so much for God's miracle. Governments falsify history only so it favors them. But you can't blame them. People always hope for a miracle. Endlessly complaining, lazy, nuisances. That's what the masses really are. Governments give the people what they want, and history repeats itself. Governments may quite well have taken advantage of their insecurity. Then again, people are satisfied being used. God is nothing but an image created out of their insecurity. 
It's their fault for knowing they're comfortably numb and not doing anything about it. What about you? Relying on miracles instead of beating your insecurities. It's because humans are insecure that they rely on miracles. Can you honestly say you're not with any confidence? I'm trying. Then your efforts have come to an end. So yeah, I do want to stress again, it is really important we get the kill here. The full kill, not just putting him in low health. And I don't also don't want to use more MP. We want to have Meteor ready. Um, so we need at least 70 MP at the end of this phase. And we need him to get out of the stupid water. I think he will this turn. Maybe it would have been better not to do the Feather Boots, um, specifically on the build we're using, because the Feather Boots, um, if he was Earth Slashing here, we're still able to heal that up. And the disadvantage is now we could have had a Magic Boots, right? We could do a little more damage, and that will be pretty relevant on the second phase. But either way, we take out phase one. We win the one-on-one -on -one battle, no problems. Mage Mirai is incredible. This is not a tough fight on Ramsa, with Mage Mirai as our build. Um, other builds will have a much tougher time here, uh, but it's really important to pick the right dual class for exactly Ramsa, because winning this fight is so critical and can be such a hard point. Um, now, I think, we're, I think we might have an easy Velius as well, but we'll see. You've improved. Now we should walk forward while floating. Running away, we grab. Come out of there. We graft. And now we graft transforms into Velius. Let's have it out here. And this is the part. Um, sometimes the early we graft gives a problem. And some ways of fighting it, if you, for instance, do the yell accumulate strategy, you can be so buffed by the time you beat we graft that taking out Velius is just you run up to him and hit him twice and it's over. Now, the reason we needed to get the full kill is if you get the full kill, you get a full free turn before anyone else gets to act, and then I think you automatically get the next turn too. So Ramza can get off two attacks before anyone has done anything, and with our specific build, we can really take advantage of that. Sorry to keep you waiting. And he's going to summon allies. Uh, the text here I think is goofy. I see you have some health, and I'll do the same. It's funny if you're playing a solo challenge and you, in fact, do not have health. He still says this. Um, no, come out, loyal servants. Note, every battle we're outnumbered. This battle we're actually outnumbered by less than usual, but we're still outnumbered. And the game thinks like you're outnumbering him five to four, but he's outnumbering us four to three. Here I come, Shikuchi. Let me show you the power of evil. Goal, defeat Velius. We don't have to kill all the enemies, though we probably will, because the others are scary. They do a lot of damage undodgeably. So if we look at the turns, anything he does will go first anything he does. That includes Meteor. Now, it does, he doesn't go second. Thought he might go second, but we didn't get a speed boost. Velius goes first before he does. So we're going to move here, and we're going to drop Meteor, because Meteor should kill all his allies and do really good damage to Velius as well. We can do it without hitting ourselves. Ah, it won't kill his allies. Then he goes 170. Probably kill some of them. I guess that one, I guess, must have a bad Zodiac, maybe? That one's neutral. That one, I think, is neutral. Okay, I bet it kills two of them, but it'll leave one alive, and that's really annoying. All right, still clearly our best move. We could also do draw out here, but we may as well chuck a Meteor when they're grouped together, and also uh, it does more damage than any of our draw out moves will do. And we have the time to cast it because we clean killed we graft. So now what's Velius going to do? He's going to cast Cyclops on us. Okay. Now we got to check the turn order here. Everyone goes before Velius. We launches Cyclops. So we can go in and we can draw out here. And use Heaven's Cloud. We want to maximize damage on Velius. Velius has maybe a little over a thousand life. We did 380. We've now done 560. Okay. Now, let's be very careful. We're going to go, and then Velius is going to go with Cyclops. 
and then Velius is going to go again. Okay. Now we could get raise to hit between. So you are one, two, three, four. We need four move to get in range. We can only move three at a time. We cannot get in range to raise Ramza in time. We can move to here, and then the range of this is, you know, one, two, three, four. So we move to here, one, two, three, four. We can't heal Ramza. That's a real shame. So how far range does this guy have? I didn't see what his move was. Now, Cyclops can cast basically at six range. This is going to be really tough. Um, we can't get off a Doubt Faith in time to block Cyclops here. What can we do that's useful? Shell? Shell would lower damage from Cyclops, but Cyclops does so much, it's clearly going to one-shot us. I think I got to get Re-Raise. Re-Raise is glitched, though, on this fight. I wish Ramza was one further back. It's so annoying. Um, oh, Raise 2. No, Raise 2 doesn't ignore height. I was wondering if we could like aim a Raise 2 here, and it would affect the square ahead. So then we'd move three forward and aim it at this square, and it would affect Ramza's square. Okay, I'm going to have to assume that re-raise works if you don't come in with it. And we're going to move one forward. It's risky, but it gets us in range where we can touch Ramza. And then I'm going to move you more forward in the hopes that draws his target out. Because it's fine if you go down. We're going to use Slow Dance, because that's our best boss killer. Now, Rams is dead. Uh, we're probably going to lose this. I think I got too ambitious with Ramza, and maybe I should have retreated. That would have drawn him forward for his Cyclops cast, and then my other characters might have been able to do something. So I really hope this hits, and I know it's glitched if you come in with Re-Raise this fight, but no, it's just glitched. She didn't change color. Re-raise doesn't exist in this fight. That sucks. Um, but we got to know our glitches. All right, that's not great either. Okay, please target the dancer. Okay, can we get off raise before it goes off? No. So we're dead. This is game over. Yeah, 200 damage is not doing it. Um, life Drain does not go off in time. That's his 243. That tells us that he has, um, you know, 7 times 8 is 28. So 1,000 minus 28 life, 972 life. But 972 life, we've done about 500. This will be, you know, we're not getting off fully first. Um, yeah. Can we get off? Should I have? Doubt faithed ourselves, but then we couldn't have possibly revived Ramza. His move's too big. So, all right, we hit him for 200. Uh, he kills us. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. We probably should have switched here in tonight, but okay. That's a reset. That's reset number two. Um, I feel like I should have won this time. I think I made some mistakes. Uh, we Can we switch tonight? Would it be worth switching tonight? Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Um, let's, okay, I should have checked our speed. So let's go back to Dancer for a sec. Um, let's check speed. Speed 7. And if we change job to Knight, I'm guessing that goes to 6. But no, it's probably still 7. Okay, it's still 7. We can give you Dance. Um, and actually, we can just learn... Um, the thing we were trying to wait to learn, which is cool. Um, and we can, and this gives four move, which is nice. 
Do we have a sword to put on? No, we're stuck with the sea bag. I really didn't come properly prepared. We have 246 life, so maybe we can draw some fire. Uh, we don't need the red shoes. Um, what would be better here? I have nothing to boost physical attack. I have nothing that really helps here. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Classic wizard mantle. Maybe the move is good. Maybe having four move is good. All right, let's stick with it. Um, I'm not sure about the feather boots. I think that might have been an error. Because um, we would up Ramses' damage quite, like, quite really. I should have bought a magic gauntlet at some point, just so that was an option. Hmm. All right, the wizard mantle, not super relevant. I think we'd rather have the extra move. The red shoes are already equipped. Um, okay, Wizard Mantle it is, just for the slight magic boost. That gets us up to times 12. We'll still be two-shotting weed rat, but we'll do a little bit more to the Cyclops, and that might be relevant. Uh, to, sorry, not to Cyclops, to the bottom lane. Okay, so we'll just go in with Chameleon Widow. I think this makes a little more sense. Um, but I think I screwed up the battle against Belius last time. Which is a shame. Someday I'll have a run of this where I, uh... Actually, you know what? What if we have the Oracle up here at the start? And then Yuna behind? Ranza will run forward and not be all that close to our Oracle, but it means the Oracle will be close enough she can revive, and Ramza will be far enough away from her they can't Cyclops both, and will still be able to Meteor to start the battle. Yeah. This should make a useful difference. I think I screwed up. Should have had this better mapped out, but you know, we are we are showing our losses, and we are not like gonna you know reset videos and restart anything if you know it doesn't go according to plan. We are doing this honestly, and we have died. What's this? We're gonna again try to plan this out right. So twelve times twelve and twelve times our fourteen are our two multipliers now. So it's one hundred forty-four, and. 168 uh, times 5 fourths essentially. So 144 times 5 fourths is. I'm so slow. Uh, about 180, I think. Um, so we can probably two shot him now with our lower power one. Our higher power one is going to be 14 times 12, 168 times 5 fourths. That's going to be a 41 extra, so that's going to be 209. So that's still basically two-shotting him. And actually, he came closer this time, which is kind of nice. So I think he'll, he'll spawn with a little different life totals each time. We'll see if this would two-shot him, and if it wouldn't, we'll switch to the other one, and this should do enough that the other one will finish him. Yeah, 180, so this does two-shot. And we get some dialogue. Stones are evil, and so are the Zodiac Graves. Oh, we should also finish while in haste. That's smart. The legends we believed in were all lies. Uh, we had this dialogue. Um, but if we finish this fight while in haste, then, then we'll have haste carry over. That's nice. It's a real shame re-raise doesn't. It's a real shame. Uh, but, okay, this is one, two, three, four, five. I'll, I'll risk a 90%. And we'll finish her turn. That should make him Earth Slash again. Um, and we just need him not to get the next turn. Which he didn't. Good. Uh, one, two, three, four. How much move does we grab have, by the way? I should know this. Four move. Let's try a five move again. Because he, uh, he can still Earth Slash us if we move five. But let's see, let's see if we can set this up absolutely perfect. We just need one more hit on him, but I want to get haste up. I don't care that much about being full health, but because uh, Belius will use Cyclops on me anyway, and like it doesn't matter if I'm high or low health. Okay, that's great. Now we cast haste. And we'll wait. That'll get our next turn faster. It's fine if we grab hits us once, right? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I guess last fight he, like, got missed on 295 percenters against us, but still. Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, glad we have Blade Grasp there. That's kind of scary. Let's do five move just to be out of hitting distance because that, again, was scary. Now we need uh, one of like four attempts at haste to hit. Doesn't have to be this one, but we can't go below 70 MP because we want to have Meteor ready. Uh, a lot of fights in this game, like you take a reset. Wow, his wave hits cannot hit us. You take a reset and then um, then you sort of configure it out. And I really like that process. So that's the like upside of, uh, we already did 180, right? We don't need the stronger again. Um, that's the upside of like losing is like, you go like, oh, here is how I adjust. And we can make a few adjustments. We can figure, oh yeah, of course, I should end the battle while in haste. Obviously that would be advantageous. And it was clear there was a way to do so. By doing the first fight, we learned that's definitely achievable. Um, we also think, oh, hey, maybe I need the Oracle closer. Oh, we had an option to do that. Why did I start with the Oracle so far away? Ramza will get to move. It's not like his, he'll immediately Cyclops us and hit both. Um, also, Feather Boots. Okay, but was Earth Slash that scary? Earth Slash always does less than Wave Fist. We can survive two Wave Fists. We can definitely survive two Earth Slashes. Not that scary to let him have Earth Slash, so I'd rather have the Magic Boost. So we can make these, like, little adjustments and uh, figure things out. So losing a fight once, unless it's a stupid fight like Yard Out Fort City, where you learn nothing, is a cool way to learn about the game and figure out how to strategize better. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was really hoping to beat Rio Veins all in one run, no resets, but actually this, this is fun. Uh, it's going to make a slightly longer video, but the last battle's short, and we're also going to skip the Wrath of Malik scenes because I don't care. Uh, I see you have some help, then I'll do the same. Come out, my loyal servants, yeah, yada yada. And we get off the meteor to start the fight because we straight knocked out we graph rather than um uh words. Rather than putting him in critical. Alright, beat we of Delius. We can do this. We'll move here. We get first turn. We get a full like million turn before anyone else gets to go so we can we can just launch meteor and as slow as it is and we'll have next turn because we have haste oh this is so much better than last time i still think i should have been able to win last time but after ramza moved so far forward i don't think it was doable and this time i think we can figure out how to do it now you'll notice our oracle is still pretty far back so possibly this doesn't fix that but we can use Heaven's Cloud now. We're in range. So we did like 400 some. I should have checked the exact number. That's 210 more. And now we can move Ramza off to like a side location or like some diagonal back location that will draw Velius forward, right? Because the problem last time was Velius would move backwards. And we don't want Velius to move backwards. So if we check the turn order, you know, Velius goes next, but Cyclops won't go off before the others get turns. We'll be able to get out of the way. So let's let's actually go here. This is a chance to fail, but I think worth it. Now Velius will be drawn forward. Haste just wore off, so great, great use of it. He will launch Cyclops, targeting our Oracle. Okay. Now Cyclops has two range in each direction. Can we get anything off before Cyclops hits? Basically, Titan. Okay, well, Titan will still kill us. So we have to move out of the way, and it doesn't look like we can get anything off before it hits. So that's a bummer. So we just have to get out of the way. Oh, that's really bad. Now it's bad that he came forward and hit the Oracle. Oh, no. Okay, I still... Haste. Okay, um... Just have to, we just have to be far away from our other units. Do you think there's a chance we survive? Should we like start casting a spell? Probably. Like there is no chance we survive, but if we do survive, we'll be glad to have like cast holy on it, right? So. Oh, why did we get the next turn? I thought on the turn order, did I just misread it? Oh, I just, I didn't realize Yuna had the next turn. That's great, because we get to hit him while he's charging. That does extra damage. So that's 90. So how much have we done? 
We've done 400, some 610. We've done around 700. Ramza does 210 a hit. So Ramza will take it to 910. That is not enough for the kill. I think we still lose. We need two hits with Ramza. How do we how do we win? Can we, if we got off haste, do anything? All right, I have to hope he goes for you, not Ramza. But I think we still lose. Oh no. So close to the kill. So close. He has like 70 life left. But because we don't have a stupid sword, because I'm an idiot. Oh, is that going to go off before we go? Okay. So we lose. Oh, man. How do we get in 70 more damage? Because our damage is going to be consistent on Velius. Like, we can't. We need him not to hit the Oracle. Yeah. So we lose here. Um, we can't reach him. So, we need the oracle further back. The first strategy was the correct one this time. But, okay, we can, I think we can duplicate, like, everything that happened effectively. So, Rams is the only one up here. Oracle further back. Um, Yuna may be ready to run forward, but the oracle further back. We need, we need one raise or something to go off that gives us one more turn of attack. All right, that's a second reset here. So in my notes, I have to very sadly put uh, three resets. So I'll have that. All right. But we're figuring things out, right? And we are very low level and obviously doing a, a type of challenge run. But man, I was really hoping we'd get through this. I'd also like to defend my honor by saying it has been years since I've done one of these challenges. And, you know, you do not remember all your... The things you learned go away. It's fun to figure these out things out and feel like you've learned something, but then you forget the things you've picked up. So, okay. We do want the Oracle further back. This fight, hopefully we have the gear we set up. If not, I'm going to be pissed. But we, we're not floating, so surely we set it up properly. Um, so he's using Wave Fist. He has terrible luck against us with Wave Fist, but he does hit that time. All right, we move out of the way. Say one, two, three, four. Sure. He, as long as he can't one-shot us, which he can't. And wait, why didn't I attack him? Oh, because he was out of range because of Wave Fist. Okay. And now, yeah, we're just going to heal here. No need to do anything ambitious while he's not in um, in range. We're going to get haste out later. All right, this is again going to be a wave fist. If it misses, we'll attack him. But if it hits, let's go to the corner. Heal again. I'm not spacing this well. We want to be drawing out earth slashes. But also, we want him to move two away, and I'm moving so far, he can't move two away. So what am I doing here? Now, we don't want to let him get in a physical attack when we're not at full health. So let's go, let's stay where we are and see if he approaches. Because if he gets a physical attack and the 30% hits, we need to be able to heal after, right? So... Going for the physical attack. We blade grasp this, perfect. If we didn't have blade, if we didn't blade grasp that, we'd heal here. But now we can Futetsu knife him. That'll do 180. Give or take. Yeah. Alright, we lost Futetsu knife, that's fine. Uh, we get some dialogue. We're still at full life. We like when he actually physically attacks us because blade grasp is so good. So we will face him to try to make him move, because that will hurt his ATB bar. And then our goal is to haste ourselves. Oh, we should, uh, yeah, our goal is to haste ourselves and, uh, and finish him. 
So hopefully he moves around. Yeah, it's good to see. Nice. didn't take damage, so we could take risks. Uh, we're going to haste ourselves, and then whatever happens, we finish him next turn, basically. All right, actually, he might run away, which if he does, I guess we try to follow. If it doesn't work, we heal. If it does work, we finish him. No one's in the water, so it's all good. We can finish him. That sends us to Velius, the horrible part of the fight. Now, I know we're all thinking the next fight after this is horrible too, but the next fight will be fine. We've improved. Yep, I know. I keep improving. We have friends. You'll bring your friends, yada, yada. So this part where Ramza moves into the middle doesn't happen if you end the fight in the water. I think regraph ending the fight in the water is fine, actually. But if you end the fight in the water, I believe, you will stay there for the start of the next stage. And I would rather center myself again to make sure I can hit with my free move. So on net, I think you really, you A, you definitely want to get the full kill, not put in critical for the free turn. But you also almost certainly don't want to end the fight in the water. It's so weird that um, auto re-raise is glitched for exactly this fight and no other. I really didn't know that um, you couldn't cast re-raise. I knew bringing in re-raise didn't work. Okay, so the um, the zodiacs of those guys are randomized, but now that we upped our magic a little, it's probably just a one-shot on all of them, basically, no matter what. But I think our starting strategy is correct. We move Ramza forward. We, no, we launch Meteor. Shout out to Sephiroth. Should have named Ramza Sephiroth. He has Blade Grasp. He takes no damage, just like Sephiroth. Would have been kind of fitting. Anyways, that's 441. Oh my god. That means 440. So we did 440. We did 210 twice. So that's another 420. So that's 860. Wait. No, I've lost count. We did we did over 900, but we did a little more than I thought we did. We were pretty close. Okay, so now we want to draw out. We're going to Heaven Cloud him, and then we're going to retreat to try to draw him forward. And both our units will get to move before he gets to act. So he will only hit one unit with his, um, with his summon. We can guarantee that. Haste wears off at this point. That's fine. We drew him forward. That's great. He's targeting our Stupid Dancer. That's great. Stupid Dancer can now get out of the way. Stupid Dancer is not our attacker. Stupid Dancer is here to dance, stupidly. Uh, we'll use Slow Dance. Should we use Wisnabus just because it does damage now? Uh, slow Dance. Mm. Let's do Wisnabus. And this will be the last attack before Cyclops goes, but we should be able to get off Holy now. Yeah. We get off Holy, and we win. We just needed to draw him attacking the right units. Um, and this is a common theme of how to beat the, uh, the hardest bosses. So that's 273. So we've already done about 650. That gets us to 920. Um, and it would be so tricky if he had attacked the tile, not the square, and I moved uh, the character out of the way and then it killed the others because it was on the tile. But um, this gets us up to 920, and then Ramza uses his move and kills it. And even if that didn't kill it, um, we'd have another turn afterwards with one of our units that can actually do damage, uh, which is safe. It's four move. Um, and that would kill it too. So this will end it. Okay, so we ended up with a very comfortable Velius win. But you can see why this was tricky, and oh my god, if you don't have the power of things like Meteor and Big Damage, this is a really scary fight. Uh, whoa, they're just humans. And you can see it, it absolutely murders new players, and we just got two resets on it, which is more than we got in the entire game to this point. So, shout out to the difficulty of Rio Veins. 
and now for what should be one of the stupidest fights in the game, but instead I kind of like because I think I've solved it. Alma. And it's very important to re-equip. Oh, one fun trick is Velius can be silenced. So that was something else I wanted to mention. Um, oops, just leaving a note for myself. Because I didn't actually have a note on my rooftop strategy. But the rooftop is my the final, the coup de grace, the, uh, the piece I actually have really well figured out. And the strategy to beat the roof is giving you a moment to like guess and think about it. We'll do the scenes first. Oh dear. Four maps a bad dad, I think. You know, you use the thing that makes you slaughter everyone and your sons in the room. Maybe slaughter your son too. Uh, I don't know. And Islu didn't really know what he was in for. Islu thought the church was doing something better. Are you all right? Sorry this is gonna be such a long episode, but it wouldn't have been if I hadn't lost voice, so. S sword, where is it? Must beat him. Please, give me some light. It's so dark, can't see a thing. I should remember to drink something. One sec, let me pause. All right, you heard me put down my water. Sorry if that was loud. Don't worry, no need to fight anymore. Tell your brother, the stone has evil power. He's not my father. The power made him Lukavi, hack, cough. Oh, I hope someday I beat this run with no resets at all, though. I guess it was unlikely to happen at a time when I was, like, recording, too. Please don't try to talk. What Shikuchi said was true. The world will end if we don't kill him. Tell everyone. Not time to fight. Must cooperate. What? Well, where's my sword? Can't move my arms. Dude, you were a spear user. It should be where's my spear. Don't worry. I saw his body in the hall. My brother killed him, so you don't need to fight. Really? That's a relief. The stone is in my jacket. Give it to your brother. All right, well done, team. I guess a sign that Islude was a decent person trying to, like, who believed it was going to do better, that with him dying, the stone didn't try to convert him to Lukavi, that it was just like, nah, this dude wasn't going to convert. I'll be sure to do that. Tired, sleepy, just rest now. So Islude will not be joining our party because he died, but, you know, otherwise I'd like to think he would have at some point. Who's there? Hey, it's Flaker's family. So here you are. I'll send you to the other side, too. Oh, bad news. Never get in a room alone with a Lakers fan. It No, he's wrong. If you get in a room alone with a Lakers fan, you will suffer. I'll talk about the Lakers. Good boy. What? Helios was killed. Your brother has the devil's own luck. Now, come here. Well, why is Virgo responding? You, you can't be. Very nice. I didn't expect to meet you here. Thought it would take a hundred years to find you. I never dreamed you were the one. Stop, let go of me. No need to fear. I won't kill you. Now, come here. Sucker punch. Um. Yeah, this war map spell was trouble. Luckily, he didn't bring the stone with him. So that's something. He did take Alma. not be saving between battles, but we do have an important setup to do. This is um a really important moment. We're going to change back to Dancer. And we're going to change our equipment. That's right. We're going to remove it all. So this is a fight where it's another stupid save wrap-up fight. And that sucks. However, if you take out any of the targets, you win. And they will be distracted enough if you have a naked character out there, in our case, a naked dancer, that they will target that character. 
and if they spend time targeting that character, that gives enough time for you to win the fight. And if you have any power, so you pick your lowest damage output character, and then your other two characters will have time to win the fight. And almost every party has a clear party member that you're like, oh, that's the one we're going to make naked, and the other two are going to go for the kill. And here it is very obvious. Now I think, I forget the layout of this, I think you want to be further back to be closer to the action, but I'm not actually sure. So I'm going to have one power person at either end, and the dancer in the middle. This might not be quite right. I should leave a note for myself on where you actually want to position. But uh, I think the back is the actual closer place to where you want to be. But Ramza has teleport, so he can adjust better if his position is bad. All right, so we're going to skip this. But basically, Barrington is horrible, and he shoots Rafa, and Malik realizes that Barrington is, you know, a rapist and saves her and dies but we're later going to use a stone to revive him. Who cares? Yada, yada. Uh, and at some point, the best part is Barrington gets to run off the tower. And that part's fun. But I think this part's stupid and bad, and so, yeah, we're going to treat it as such. Oh, no. Malik died for about five seconds. Now, no matter what you think of Kate Sith's death, this death even less sad. Um, it is a shame that the like the Middle Eastern coded characters, and basically the only Middle Eastern coded characters in the entire series, are garbage. But you know that's Square's fault, not mine. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, Barrington. Who's that, you ask? Can you hand me the stone? That's Marquis Elmdor. Well, why are you here? No. Give it to me. Cool blowing in the wind effect. This is the real Sephiroth lookalike of the game. Rafa, watch out. They're not human. So, you're Shikuchi, the heretic. I never really thanked you for doing me this favor. Thank you. I don't want to have to get rough like Vormav did. Please understand. Now, hand me the stone, and I'll ask Vormav to return your sister. Where's Alma? Bring her back. Didn't you hear me? Give me the stone first. No, I won't. Are you abandoning her? I thought you came here to save her, knowing there'd be danger. Very well. I didn't want to get rough, but... Celia, leave. Go ahead. That girl has the stone. Get it back. Um, so if you take... If you get any of the three enemies into low health, that's enough. But Rafa is a fucking moron. And so he will run up to Rafa first turn, and he will do a bunch of damage. It won't kill her, but it will do a lot of damage. And then we need her to not get hit again, essentially. Um, okay, it actually doesn't do that much. But she is likely... Oh my god, she's such an idiot. We might actually lose this. Because um, they always go first. They're always faster than you. And we need them not to go to finish... So we need them to do things like that, right? And we need them to waste two turns. Maybe we should have gone double mood. But I think this move will be a charge move. Yeah, they cast stop. So they really like to cast stop, and they really like to kill your nude character. And that gives you a turn. And we don't want to go for Elmdor because he has more life than the others. But he doesn't have that much move. How reliably can we move there? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Hmm. I don't want it to miss, so we're going to go for Elmdor. Uh, how much damage do we do to Elmdor? Oh, I didn't actually... Did I fix our gear? I left, I left the chameleon robe on. I'm such an idiot. Okay, um, so we have 12 magic. 12 times 14, as we've done over and over, is 144. Nah, that won't be enough. Um, I think Holy will, though. Let's go this way. Okay, disaster. Um, and Meteor won't get us out of this because, uh, you know, how do we cast Meteor that hits him but not Rafa? I've, I've screwed this up. Incredible. Um, I 
My, my perfect strategy has all come undone. I guess we hit him for 92, but that will not be sufficient. Um, okay, we can move here. That's going to get a little damage out, but not much. Counter tackle might actually like almost kill us. Okay, and now we get Holy. And, oh, okay. What's the range on Holy? Is it four? So we're only two away from being able to hit Elmdor. It will go off before anything else. We combine it with Demi. That's going to be our highest damage output. So we move two closer. We should be able to reach him. Um, yeah, one, two. Okay. All right. Um, so the thing is, you do get attacks with both your high power characters. You don't need to do that much damage. Yeah, this will... This will be sufficient unless Demi misses. I believe Demi was like 98%. Oh, also moving next to her means this holy hits her. I should have gone after her. That was dumb. Because um, we could have gotten her under. So I should have gone for her, not Elmdor. That would have done it guaranteed. Because she would have taken the 100 there. And I wouldn't have had to rely on a 98% shot here. Um, but this fight, often they just go and kill Rafa immediately and you lose. Which is why it's really important to bring in a new character. This was still kind of scary. But even with me messing it up repeatedly, which I did, we still did get him low enough that we win the fight. And that ends chapter three. I don't know what our lowest level is. I wish I did. Um, uh, he says some things. Sorry, I missed it. Really a lead. If you want our stone, come to Limberry Castle. We'll be waiting. Um, I guess this means we'll only find out what our score for the chapter was next time. But I think we're going to stop here. And call it here, start the chapter next time. I just reset the game. What am I doing? All right, well, I can return to our save state and we can do that again, but smarter. Let's do it smarter. Obviously we beat it. I don't think this was cheating. I tried to pause it and I clicked reset. What a moron. All right, well, this has all been very chaotic. I'm just trying to end the video too. Okay, well, we'll switch back to our wizard robe as we meant to be. We'll have the proper equipment there. We'll make it there. That's fine, and we'll keep track. Our level is 23, so our level must have been 23. Ramza didn't level up. Our highest level is 23, so our score for the chapter. Sorry for the chaos this level. I get I get thrown off when things go wrong. Um, we had three deaths, and we're level 23. So chapter three, we're just going to go the same way we did last time. Uh, chapter three, so um, three times 10 is 30. Add the number of deaths. That's 33 and multiply it by level, 33 times 23. I'm just gonna bring up the calculator, uh, but you may not. Uh, 759, so we scored 759 on chapter three. It's pretty good. Let's look at some past scores I had. I think these are every draft I've done. So the first one I scored 1368, and I think that was actually pretty good for a first try playing this. Uh, my second time, 992, then 810, 805, 986 was a different player score. 608 is my lowest. All right, 608 is my record for Chapter 3. But, uh, yeah, no, this is still a good score. No complaints. Now, here's a question. Are you allowed to rerun a draft? Like, obviously you've learned and gotten better and will score better a second try, right? I think you are, but like, it, you should know, like, this wasn't, right, there's, you can only, the first time you draft a team, you can only get that first draft, like, score once, right? And then you can rerun it as much as you want and try to get the best score you can given that draft. But your first time, I think, only happens once, like, you know, there's there's the score you got the first time, and then there's the score you got when trying to maximize everything. Maybe I'll rerun a draft and figure out how to just uh, get it perfect. But All right, sorry about this video going so long, but obviously this is a really major uh, segment, and I really love the naked strategy. It turns, you know, I, I certainly felt scared when we did this just now, but it turns this fight from being... Um, just super stupid because Rafa gets herself killed. And I'm always scared she will anyway. But I think, like, 
I think it makes it so like Elmzor hits her once, they use Shadow Stitch on her, they go for the naked character, and you do win the fight, right? And I think like that just reliably happens if you have a naked character. So it feels scary to do, but the execution works. And she's going to be an idiot and run forward. No, you see, this time she was not an idiot. Uh, that's not particularly useful, but it wasn't the same idiotic. And now Celia will go and target that character. Incidentally, this is one of the two points in the game you can learn a secret ability for Ramsa, Ultima. Uh, oh, they use Shadow Stitch on our other strong character. Okay, so now we actually have to be slightly precise. Um, first of all, we have to go for you. So I'm going to teleport to here. And the reason we have to go for you this time is... Oh, I could have used Meteor, actually, but okay, this is fine is because we have to run next to her so she hits herself with Ultima. Ultima, however you want to pronounce it. And that will uh, end the fight. Uh, and we'll actually go here because that's a little close. Oh, no, they're each one height off, so that's fine. This is slightly lower chance to hit Ramza. We're getting a free hit. Uh, we don't want that to push her back, so maybe I shouldn't have hit her. And we don't want that to push us back, so I probably shouldn't have attacked, actually, because we need Ultima to hit her. So actually, attacking was dumb. But, uh, so I make, I make so many mistakes. Um, but now Ultima will kill herself, and we survive, even though they shadow-stitched not Rafa, and we would much prefer they shadow-stitch Rafa. And that's the fight, and we're level 23, and we end chapter 3. I'm going to pause here, and we will save state so we can continue here next time. And finally, we're done with chapter 3. Thanks for staying with me. Uh, good night.